Christian writer, producer, performer, and actress. Would you like to enhance your sermons and really grab the attention of your youth? I've put together something that I think can help you do just that. It's called Choices. This is part of my Sermon Starter Appetizer series for youth. Each day, teenagers are faced with various choices, and the decision they make can impact their life in either a positive or negative way. I put together this DVD with teenagers in various situations having to make a decision. They're topical, and you can choose which one best fits your message to help you either enhance it or nail down a point. Take a look at a few clips from some of the skits on this series called Choices. Hey, Tommy, can I go five dollars? No way! I gave you ten dollars yesterday. I'm not a bank. If you don't give me five dollars, I'll tell Mom you broke her favorite expensive plate that that year for the 10 year anniversary. Okay. And clean my room. It's a mess. Okay. And run my five page history paper. Okay, that is it. No more. Fine. That'll be all. For now. Works every time. Hey, Ari, move your hand. I can't see your aunt's in number five. No, that's cheating. Oh, you are so on the top. What do you think you're doing to Peter? What are you talking about? You're supposed to be going out with Peter, but I saw you talking to Steven. Steven is just a friend of mine. We have Spanish together. It's no big deal. It looks like a big deal to me. So move your hands and let me see number five. Look at her. She makes me so mad. Who? Who are you talking about? Her. Her who? Janae. What about Janae makes you so mad? You hardly even know her. Cause she's a snob. She thinks she's better than anyone else. She thinks she's too good to talk to anyone. Yeah, that's really cool, Jen. Um, you think you could like write my history paper for me since you already know all about it about Thomas Jefferson? I'd really owe you. Oh, hey, Tiffany. Yeah, it was lots of fun on Saturday night. Okay, I'll call you later. What did you and Tiffany do on Saturday night? Uh, Saturday night? I don't know what you're talking about. I was at the hospital all weekend. Anyway, what were we talking about? You said to name my price. Here's how much that paper's going to cost you. I want you to be my date at the homecoming dance next month. Well, I... Uh, Is it a deal, or do you want to do your own homework from here on out? Well, um, okay. Okay, you got a deal. My parents are so ridiculous. I see you too. The most unreasonable people I know. Why do you say that? Your parents are the best. You have no idea what you're talking about. They seem nice when I'm over there. That's just an act. Believe me. If you lived at my house, you would know what I'm talking about. Why do they do that so bad? I've never seen them do anything that looked remotely bad. Well, they made me eat dinner every night with the family. What's so bad about that? I wish my family ate dinner together. I usually eat frozen dinner, pizza in front of the TV. You're so lucky. My parents make the most horrible things for dinner, like baked chicken or green beans. Ew. And then for dessert, we have apples or oranges. Hey man, what's up? Nothing. What are you doing? Looking so down in the dumps. Waiting. Waiting for what? To get picked. Well, that's cool. No, it's not cool. I'm always the last one to get picked. Well, maybe they're saving the best for last. That's not funny. I'm always the last one to get picked because no one wants me on their team. They usually end up fighting over who has to take me. I'm sorry, man. Actually, I used to have that problem. If you'd like to know more detail about the different skits that are on this DVD, please visit us at our website, www.entertainmentwithamessage.com. That's www.entertainmentwithamessage.com. Thanks for taking the time to watch this short little demo, and I look forward to hearing from you in the near future. And I know sermon starters will bless your congregation and really grab their attention.